Okay, so in the last video, we we went ahead and made this delete button. And uh, we're going to need to make it do something. So let's hop back over to Aptana. And I think I'm going to use this opportunity to show you some Ajax. So we need to do a couple of things before we start working on that. First, we want to give this link or button a class that specifies that this is the delete button. And this class isn't necessarily used for the CSS. It's actually going to be used for finding it with JavaScript or jQuery. So here on line 28, we're going to, we're going to do button or btn dash delete. So this identifies the button as a delete button. So in jQuery, we're going to be able to say, you know, when a delete button is pushed or when btn dash delete, anything with that class is pushed, then do something. So that separates this button from any other type of button on the page. But now what we need to do is go one step further and give each one of these delete buttons a unique ID. So we'll do that by adding an ID. But we're, so we're going to put the ID of the page in here, but we're also going to give it kind of a prefix. If we do any other Ajax here, we will have used up that ID property already. You know, say if this is page number 25, well, we can't use that ID anymore on a page. So we're going to do is give it a prefix. Um, so we'll do like del underscore, and then we'll echo out the ID number. Okay, so now each one of these buttons or links will have an ID of DEL and the page ID, thus giving them a unique ID. So we can use this then in the jQuery to tell MySQL which one to delete. 